Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to explain the interview question. What is the disadvantage of RS? What is the disadvantage of RS? So RS are good guys. RS can store multiple values. Okay. Instead of storing a single value into an integer variable, with the help of RS, you can store multiple multiple of the same into the single variable, right? With the help of RS, you can do that. But they have a disadvantage. But arrays have disadvantage, guys. That is, they are fixed in size. They cannot grow in size, guys. Once you once you declare an array, okay. Once you declare an array in the later statements, you cannot grow its size. While declaring the array, if you, if you mention the size of the array as three, okay, you can only store three elements into that array. After that, you cannot uh, uh, store four or five elements into the array, right? Only three elements are allowed in the array. That is a disadvantage, guys. It's not flexible enough to grow in size. Once you declare, it is done. Later part, you cannot increase its size. In the later parts of the program, you cannot increase its size. That is a disadvantage of the arrays, guys. So, is there any solution for this? As arrays are fixed in size, is there any solution to solve this problem? Yes. The solution here is array list. Okay. The solution here is array list. From collections framework, we have something known as array list in collections framework. Okay. Using a, but this array array list are similar to arrays. But they are growable in size. Array lists are growable in size. As arrays has a disadvantage of fixed in size and they are not growable. There is some solution known as array list which can grow in size. Okay, which is part of the collection framework which uh, can grow in size. So now I will demonstrate to you how arrays cannot grow in size. How the disadvantage of the arrays that is how the arrays are fixed in size and cannot grow in size. And at same time, we'll also give the a demo, uh, you demonstrate and implement array list which can actually grow in size at later parts of the program also. Okay, so let me start. So first thing is that I will demonstrate about arrays. Okay, demonstrating how arrays are fixed in size. Let's say I am creating an array integer array int a is equal to new int of. I am just giving the size of the array as three. Okay, that means only three elements are allowed in this variable a. Okay, into the variable a, three integer values can be stored. So let me give the values a of 0 is equal to some 3, a of 1 is equal to 6, a of 2 is equal to 9. Okay. So up to here, I can give guys. I cannot give more than three elements, guys. Right? I cannot give more than three elements. Otherwise, I will get an exception. If I try to give another element, a of 3 is equal to some 12, I'll get an error here. Okay. I'll not get error here. When I run this program, I'll get an error. You see, system.out.println. A of zero plus A of one plus A of two. Though the size of the array is three, I gave four values. Okay, I entered four values. It will give some exception in the real runtime when you execute. It will give the exception A of three. So I'm trying to print all the four values now. Even though this is not allowed, I'm trying to print. Right click run as. I'll get an exception. Array index out of bounds exception I will get. I will not get the output. Okay, at the line um, array index out of bounds except only three values are allowed. It's saying okay, only three values can be entered into the array. Here I entered four values, but the reason is only three values are allowed. But you entered four values. Now if I remove this statement, if I only enter three values into the array, now run it. Yeah, I am printing it right. Uh, let me remove this also. A of three. Okay, which I am trying to print. Let me run it. Now you got the proper output, right? 369. So only three values means arrays are fixed in size. You cannot give more than three values. That's the problem. From here, I cannot, if I want, if, I, if there is a requirement where I want to increase the size here, increase the size of the array at this point of the program. Can I do it, guys? No, you cannot do it. Okay. I cannot increase size of the array at this point of the program because if I try to increase it by assigning a new value into the array, directly you will get array index out of bounds exception. Right? You already seen that. Now, to overcome this problem, we have something known as array list. Okay. I will show you how array list can grow in size irrespective of the uh, point where you are in the program. So, let me, the syntax will be different for array list, guys. You have to start with list of integer. This is an interface. Okay, I'll give list is equal to new. Here I will say I'll create an object for the array list class. 
of integer type. This is a wrapper class, guys. Integer is a wrapper class of the int data type. You, in collection framework, you cannot use primitive data types. You have to use non primitive data types like integer or a respective wrapper classes you have to use for storing the integer values. Okay. Mm, and hover the mouse and import it from java.util package. This one also from java.util package. That is done. Now let me add the. You, you have not given any fixed size for this array list, guys. Okay. Uh, unlike arrays, you have not given any fixed size for this array list. How much you want to grow, you can grow. List dot add. I'm adding the first value. Okay. Now if I want to add another value, add of six. I'm I added the second value. Now to the array list. Now I'm adding the third value to the array list. Now let me print it. Print these three values. List dot get of zero okay list of get at zero is the first index zero at the index zero this is the first one okay that value three will be printed here if i if, if i call this uh, list with uh, index zero it will retrieve the first value that is stored in the array list that is nothing but the number three will be printed after that plus this dot get of one then afterwards plus plus i'm just printing the three values guys get of two okay so this will work. Let me run this program and just check uh, whether the program is working up to here or not. 369 output we got. Now at this point of time, after all these things are done, if I want to increase the size of this array list, can I do it or not? Can I increase the size of the array list or not at this point of time? The answer is yes, guys. You can still increase the size of the array list. That is list dot add. Keep on adding, guys. Nothing more than that. Okay. I'm just growing the size. You see, array array list is not fixed in size. You can either add three values, four values, ten values, twenty values, hundred values. Okay, it keeps on growing. There's no limit. This dot add of 15. I can add as many number of and I can increase the size of the array list on the go. System dot out dot print element. I'll copy paste this one and I increase. I'll add uh, two more values to this list. Uh, here I'll say plus plus list dot get of three plus Plus list of get of four index four. Okay, so that's the difference between the arrays and array list. Okay, array the disadvantage of arrays is that they are fixed in size, whereas the solution for that is array list, which can grow in size. You see, it got increased and printed properly. So that's about the disadvantage of array guys. Arrays guys, you can actually. Uh, give the straightforward answer to the interviewer who is asking this question that uh, you can mention directly that arrays are fixed in size and uh, you cannot increase the size of the arrays in between the program okay you can only uh, specify the proper size uh, while declaring the arrays okay that is a straightforward answer you can give on the top of that if you want to add more value to your answer by for the interview question interviewer question then you can uh, tell about this array list and then you can practically programmatically show how arrays and array lists are different okay this will add a lot of value to your answer that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.